there's one topic that can't stop finding its way to this channel, it's pedophilia. From brain dead TED Talks and Sundance award winning child porn, this channel is like the Macy's Day Parade of fucking pedophilia. Come on everybody, let's celebrate! Pedophilia. Da, 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 da. Today we find our crosshairs pointed at Cosmodor once again. Lately there's been this insane narrative emerging that Cosmodor, two-time groomer by the way, as far as we know, has uh, changed. If you look under the comments of his most recent video, there's a ton of people sympathizing with him. At present, Cosmodor has finally returned to YouTube. I guess it's hard to resist the urge to come back to YouTube, but I guess Cosmo isn't really the type to resist urges. <laughs> Recently, he's been bloviating on about how he donated 15 grand to various child sexual assault charities, and he's also been self-deprecating a lot so then people will be more sympathetic toward him. So to put it bluntly, he's doing this to save face. I have some DMs between me and him, and right off the bat you can see some of his manipulation tactics. And one of them being he self-deprecates a lot to manipulate your feelings. Because the way self-deprecation works is when you hear someone going, Ah, oh, I'm terrible, oh, I'm terrible, I'm... You feel sympathy for them. And you want to build them up. That's what Cosmodor is doing. And it's not a conscious thing you even realize. Because he's emitting a psychological phenomenon for you to talk to him and for you to sympathize with him. And on some level, this rhetoric has made people believe he's capable of changing. I think he should be left alone. Alone. It was in the past, and he's trying to better himself. Now he's a much better person, and he makes pretty good videos. I mean, yeah, he did attempt to groom at least two minors, but come on, dude. Let's be fair, he made pretty epic videos. Jared Fogel, I mean, he might have had incredible amounts of child pornography on his PC, but come on, he was pretty epic, guys. Like, think about it. I don't want anybody finding this guy and harassing him. I think Mr. Sands' Undertale is very epic here. It's just another victim to Cosmodor's manipulation. But I figured I should prove that this is what's happening. How could I prove that groomers never change. And then I figured if Cosmodor's fine manipulating people for his own benefit, that he shouldn't have any problem with me doing the same thing to him. I went to my dead Instagram account and sent him a message fanning empathy for the situation that he got himself into out of idiocy. Oh, I just wanted to stop being lonely. I mean, I don't know, dude. I'd rather be lonely and have a very successful YouTube channel than lose all of that and groom children. That's just my perspective on that, but you know. I'll post the entirety of our DMs in the description, and if you want to read through them, you can see he tried to elicit guilt and sympathy out of me. Uh, I'm sorry to inform you, Cosmodor, that... At this point, I'm privy to your song and dance. I'm just gonna go through some of the most damning ones that I have to emphasize that Cosmodor has not changed his ways. Here's screenshots of him saying that Daft Pina is at fault for emphasizing all of his criticism on Cosmodor. I think everybody involved in the situation could agree that Daft could have handled it much better, but as far as the actual reporting goes in the video, it was at least accurate. And the blame was directed accurately at the person that deserves the blame. Honestly, Cosmodor, if you sincerely think that you're the bad guy in this situation and you want to change, then who else should he direct all the attention to? Sure, some people made miscalculations addressing the situation, but I think everybody can agree that you were the worst person involved. Oh, and uh, if you disagree with that, uh, then uh, here's a fun fact. You're a fucking idiot. I find this one to be a riot. It was an isolated incident. First of all, we have two confirmed attempts, not one. Plus, really, dude? Come on, guys, grow up. It was literally, like, just, just one time. Like, come on. You guys are just hanging on to the past. Like, just be mature. He's making the situation about me and not the victim. Like, I'm sorry, what did the victim do besides get groomed by you? The number one person that should be dragged through the mud is you. Here's more screenshots of him attempting to shift the blame. 
he, he's refusing to accept responsibility for his own actions. And if it's really possible for a groomer to change, the way that you change is you accept responsibility for what you've done wrong. You get the story straight. You say exactly what happened. You don't disappear and hide and win. You apologize for what happened. And you know what? Sure, maybe you could change. Maybe a groomer could change. But you have not, Cosmodor. It is incredibly apparent. I think I've explained in a satisfying way that at current, October 14th, at the time of me recording this, that Cosmodor hasn't changed, and Cosmodor hasn't properly accepted responsibility for what he's done. I do find it funny how he's all like, I'm gonna donate 50% of all the revenue to anti-CSA charities. Oh, how magnanimous of you. Donating half the revenue of a dying YouTube channel that uploads about as frequently as my mother's period. And see, that's funny because she's dead in Cosmo change. Well, it's uh, been nearly a year since this was exposed. About three months since this topic was heavily publicized. If you want to change, stop trying to shift the blame. Stop the self-deprecating. Accept responsibility. You say here that you're not going to admit to something that you are not, and I agree, you should not admit to something that you're not. You shouldn't say, I'm sorry for something that you didn't do, but you did do this. To say, I'm not a groomer is factually untrue. We've all made mistakes in addressing the situation, but they don't exculpate you for what you did. To my audience here, stop letting him manipulate people. Push it down reject him. It's wonderful that he donated 15 grand to various charities, even though he's been making hundreds of thousands of dollars off this YouTube channel for the past few years. But you know what? Yeah, whatever, dude. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you. You're such a fucking hero, Cosmo. Maybe he did it sincerely. Maybe he did it to distract attention. But I think we can all agree that he's not ready to return, and he's definitely not changed. Cosmo, you need to leave. We don't want you here the way that you are right now. The person you are at this moment, we don't want in our community. I'm rejecting you. I sincerely hope the people watching this will also reject you. Good night.